God, I just, right now I'm just feeling this really bad, bad, bad depression right now. Uh, I think the world is just getting crazier and crazier every day. I mean, I got things wrong with my teeth and I don't even feel motivated to even go to a doctor to even fix it because I don't know if it's going to make me feel better. Uh, this morning there was some weird person outside my door, outside my window, and he was there walking past my window because he said he was bored. And then there's all these stories about all these people breaking into people's cars and stealing their tools and stuff. And, I don't know, it's just, it's, I feel like there's this sadness that's come over this entire world, or maybe just the county I live in, but it's just... The, just the helplessness of it. It's just, I wish it would go away. It's like a, it's like a weight that's sitting on me. I mean, right now I'm not working, but, uh, I'm gonna have to try to find another job to keep money in my account so I can still pay my bills, but even then it's just kind of like, what's the goal? Because I'm not gonna make enough to even buy a house to even have a yard. Because I'm still going to be stuck in an apartment. Because I don't make enough. And it's like that. Just that help us. It's like all your money just goes to pg and &E and And the cable or internet that you have. I don't even watch cable. But it all goes to internet. And it's like that's all there is. And then you go to some job. Where you just do whatever you're told. And you don't get paid in hardly anything. Also you don't even have a yard to live in. And I'm not trying to feel sorry for myself. But. It's like, where does my money go? It's just going to rent and fucking utilities. You know, and I can't even travel. And, like, the only car I have, it's, like, under threat all the time that somebody might steal it. Because it doesn't have very good locks on the doors. It's like, if somebody takes that, it's gonna suck. Because it took up, like, almost all of my tax refund to pay for it, to buy the car. Then I have to wait till next year to get another tax refund. So, in the meantime, you know... I have to worry about somebody trying to take the stupid car. Because there's so many car thefts in this area that I thought was a quiet town. But now it's not quiet no more. Now it's just completely insane. And I know it's, it's just another crazy thing. Is I mean, I'm in my mid-40s. And I still want to have a baby. And it's like, it's not working. And I have to realize it's probably not going to work. And my husband wants the baby, but... I don't want to get my hopes up that it might work. It just probably won't. It's upsetting and makes me really angry, but not much I can do. I have to almost, in a way, let it go. Because it would give me a bright spot, but I can't expect something like that to fill in a gap in my life. God needs to come down and try to do something, because there's a lot of depression in this world. I just, I need to feel the rays of love from God. And sometimes I don't feel it, you know? I mean, I have my son and everything. He helps with my depression to not feel not motivated. He helps me feel motivated. But, I don't know, I just, the whole baby thing, I want it. But I have to face reality, it's probably not going to happen. And it, it hurts. And... I don't know, it's just selfish, I guess, on my part. But it's like, if somebody left a baby on my doorstep, I'd probably take it because I really want to take care of another child, but I can't because I can't produce my own, I guess. I have this maternal instinct to want to <coughs> take care of a baby. <coughs> but I have to accept the fact that that's probably not going to happen. So, I mean, what'll end up happening is which hurts, is I'm just going to find some crummy job. Because right now I'm not working, but I'll just find some other crummy job to work at. And just be enough to just pay our utilities. And pay the rent, that's it. And not have anything else. Because I live in California, so there's not much. There's just no opportunities here. Not really. And, you know, it's just a stupid video. Just like all my other videos are all stupid. But I just, I don't know. 
I mean, does God feel the sadness that we have? Does he feel, does he feel the hopelessness? Does he feel the, the, just to not want to do anything, drive, you know, like I'm supposed to do something, but I don't know what it is. I'm just supposed to work some crummy job, I guess, and just not be anything, I guess. That's my life. And I've had experiences in my past with ghosts and stuff. But it doesn't, it doesn't help um, with the fact that I don't get any signs from God that he loves me. Mostly what I get is chaos and stuff. Like, f for the year, me and my husband were trying to have a baby, but it's not working. And I'm at a point right now this month where I'm just like, if it doesn't happen this month, it's probably not going to happen. So, it's like everything I want other than a baby happens to me. It's like, people are crazy. There's like crash into my car and stuff that's what happens instead you know just noise and craziness and chaos and you know my retarded sister and her stupid family and all that it's just trying to dump all their crap on me it's like I can't take this crap anymore I don't know it's selfish I just feel unmotivated I feel unmotivated but I have to push on because I have a child and that's the only thing that keeps me going. Because other than that, I don't even feel the strength to even get up to even sweep the floor. Even though I should. I should sweep the floor. I should empty the bookshelves off of old books that we don't read anymore. I should I should clean out the closets and all that. Since I'm not working. But I just don't feel the urge to want to do it. Because I, I, want, I, I want to have a little baby so badly that it's disrupting my life. And maybe some part of me has to move past that. It's hard. It's real hard. And then I see that homeless guy sitting outside my window walking around, shifting around. Because he's bored. I guess. And it's like, this is, this, this world is, I don't know. It's just really hard. It's like, if God would just send the rays of love down, it would be wonderful. Wouldn't it? It's just, yo, oh, come on. Like, God goes, pat you on the back, goes, come on, just keep going. You're doing the right thing. Just keep following the line. Keep towing the line for me. You know, keep showing the way to others of how to do the right thing. But I'm not getting that. All I'm getting is just this deadly silence of nothing. And that's it. That's all. And then I have to deal with my my husband's ex-wife and her bullshit of her wanting child support all the time and all that and just all the crap she put me through and it's like I'm still traumatized by this stuff. I'm trying to normalize. So I made a doctor's appointment so I get a checkup make sure that I'm not crazy and I'm not like, you know, dying of cancer or something I guess but I don't think I am. Maybe I'm just going nuts. I don't know. I hate life. And I love it at the same time. The only highlights of my life is maybe once in a while you rent a movie or something from the Red Box, or you get, you know, you you buy something good for your dinner or something. I don't know, some nice thing. Enjoy stupid little crap that you buy, and it gives you a temporary pleasure. But those things seem to fade after a while, and then you try to find more joy. But whatever. Guess I'll find it someday. I just don't know when, but I'll find the happiness wherever it's supposed to be. So, whatever. I'm just trying to breathe every day. Breathe in and out and find hope and find God, right? And try, try to smile and not be so grateful for what I have. It could be worse, right? <laughs>